Hello, everybody, and welcome to my show. So, I kind of have a bit of a gripe today, and it's because uh, a lot of stuff has come out about somebody I had asked on the show before, and they just didn't show up. Now, here's the deal. I, I don't want to complain like, uh, like for some reason this is the, the worst possible thing that somebody could do. No, I get it. Larger content creators can be very busy, they have a lot of stuff to do, they have their own channels, their own videos, their own streams to go do. But I'm going to make a very important point about this. Just say no. Don't, like, if, if there's somebody tiny, little bitty channel comes and asks you, hey, can you come on? And you say yes, they fucking get excited. Like, they want, they want that interaction. They want to say hey to, the, to somebody who's been more successful than them. This came up because I, I, I was talking to somebody here recently about the concept of uh, somebody who was a, um, a bigger content creator that had agreed to come on Citrus Quest, I think, last year. Um, they, I, I asked them a few times, but they never really showed up. And where, where I get that, like... You know, maybe after seeing my channel, they were less interested in coming on because it was uh, small or something like that. But, do just voice it to me. Like, people can get really pushy about coming on uh, a YouTube show. Like, they'll be like, hey, can you come on? 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 I try not to do that because I get that these people are busy. Uh, larger content creators. Always really busy people. And it's a lot of it because of what they do um it's very oh god i i hesitate to say it but like it's like a dynamic field there's a lot of stuff a lot of stuff that they've got to do they got to research they got to plan they got to stream they got to do videos but if that's the case dude just just tell tell the other people no because if you come on that's that's something that they, they, they're gonna be like yeah i got this person to come on my tiny ass show and if you just never show up or, or never respond when when it's actually time to get it set up, that's fine. I like to leave an open hours policy for my streams. Uh, if, if it's a bigger content creator, I will do one special. Uh, seven days a week, 24-7, doesn't really matter. I don't give a shit if it's a holiday. Just give me like two or three hours heads up to prep, and I'll prep and set up the show. But don't tell me you're going to show up and you're just not fucking going to. <laughs> I, I don't care that it's it's the concept of, you know, I don't want to come on because it's a smaller show. Fucking tell me you don't have to come on. You're under no obligation to show up to Citrus Quest. Nobody is. Uh, e even the co-hosts don't show up. Hell, I don't show up half the time. But when it comes down to it, dude, like if, you, if you're going to say yes, you're going to get the hype built up. You're going to have it going for a, a week in advance. And you say, yeah, I'm going to show up. And then you go fuck off to do something else? That's Yeah, no, that's that's a dick move. So, yeah, I, I had had a conversation with somebody about a, a different YouTuber uh, content creator that was eventually supposed to come on and they never did. And it kind of got me riled up, kind of got me a little pissed off at the concept because I've just been like, now this has happened to me two goddamn separate times with two much bigger people, much bigger content creators. And I got hyped as shit each fucking time. I, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm the asshole. But when it comes right down to it, if you're going to say you're going to show, just fucking show, dude. Thank you guys for watching. My name has been Ichabod. This has been Citrus Quest. I'll talk to you all later.